uh, painting the boat with the kids in Picto was uh, really fantastic. I enjoyed that a lot. I mean, I go back in Picto Landing 60, more than 60 years, and I could see the faces of their, uh, you know, their uncles and their grandfathers and everything. I can see the resemblance and, and the family lines are still there. It almost reminds me of uh, being there when I was uh, young. The Mi'kmaq uh, used to make canoes and they put their totems on the canoes. Uh, there's um, petroglyphs or motifs. Um, we painted, we're painting the boats and we painted the boats so we can learn about Native American history and so other people can learn about Native American history. We've been painting petroglyphs which are um, they're like little carvings on rocks that um, the Mi'kmaq people use to document things. A petroglyph is basically kind of like a drawing but in a rock. It shows our past of like our culture. It's part of history. Um, I chose a turtle because it means truth and you should uh, learn the truth about Mi'kmaq people. Because some people, like in movies, they um, put us as savages and we're not really savages. It kind of makes me um, kind of mad. I drew a petroglyph of a hand and it's kind of connecting to like the spiritual world or traditional past kind of where, you know, you can see, uh, you know, two, two people and uh, traditional hats and yeah. It was like a woman wearing like this dress and a hat. It's like a peak, peak hat. The petroglyph that I picked, it was like <clears throat> about people fishing. Uh, it seemed like a catfish and they had like old canoes and spears. I find it's good to know how like our ancestors lived. It's good to know like what happened in the past other than reading history books. Like this will tell you like first contact and whatnot and like how things were, what they did, what they worshipped. Well, petroglyphs are important because they, you know, they're telling stories. Uh, we don't know a lot of information because we've lost population. Uh, we'd lost almost 90 percent or 95 percent of Mi'kmaq population, you know, disappeared o almost overnight. So, you know, with that, the information dies with that as well, you know. But, you know, as time goes on and we are learning more about them and more people are bringing, uh, you know, theories, what they mean and so on. So more and more, I think we, we're learning about them. Because some are fairly recent, but some of them are very ancient. So we see them in other, other places, like in clothing and so on. Petroglyphs uh, are, are direct. They're left to us directly. And being, we, we had first contact in, the, in the Mi'kmaq. It was one of our first contacts ever. So. We had like 400, 500 years to lose our culture. And so, you know, uh, the petroglyphs are left, you know, and that's one of the true things that we can count on as Mi'kmaq. They're written right there for us, right on the land. They're marks, marks on the ground. That's what I call it. They, they were left from our ancestors and as, me as an artist, I consider it, I have to leave my marks on the ground too for the next, uh, for the next ones, you know. <laughs>